this visualization. What if we could make it look not like this, but rather like this? And so that we click on these slices, it changes like it is now. This is the dynamic details that we're giving to our users to really emphasize whatever point that we want to create in our visualizations. I think it's really helpful, a lot of fun. Um, so let's just have a look and see how it works. So as you can see, the basis of everything is just an area chart. I mean, really, I created something very similar to this in my previous video. Take a look, um, but you can see that generally speaking, this is a quite a basic visualization. So let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this text mark. This, this text mark is simply creating the data levels that we have already. So I want to copy that and I'm going to paste it. What I then want to do, I'll just make some really basic changes. Um, and hopefully that'll again show you that it's not a complex thing what we're doing. The first thing I'm going to do is change my Y offset, as in where do I want these text marks or text mark to sit within my visualization? I want to change this to instead of 10, 120, so a lot higher. What I'm then going to do, I'm going to change the size and I'm going to say size 60, so a lot bigger. Right now, this looks pretty ridiculous, but as we keep going, it's going to be clear what we're doing. Size 60, and also I want to make the font weight, so the boldness, essentially, um, pretty extreme. So I'm going to say font weight of 800. So as you can see, we have these huge text labels with very bold font. So that is, for the formatting part, the basis of, of what I want. The only thing I need to do now is to get rid, get rid of every value that isn't the highest value within this selected range. So, as we can see in round nine, there were 876 points. That's the highest. So I really, I only want to see 876 sitting above the x-axis point on round nine. How do we achieve that? Actually, pretty straightforward. I thought, thought it was gonna be harder, but it was, it was pretty fine. We need to use something called a transform window. And a window allows you to rank. You can do other things with it. There's a link to the documentation in the video description, so take a look at that. And if you want to quickly read what a window is, pause the video now, and then you can see. But let's get to it. So I'm going to copy and paste something in now within this mark. So I go to my text mark, and before I even write the word mark, I'm going to paste this transform in. So it says transform because we're doing a transformation. Then we specify what that transform is going to be, and it's a window. That's just the name of this particular transformation. And the OP is where we specify what we want to do with the window. Because as I say, you can do other things. But we're creating a rank. We see OP rank as rank. That's just us giving it a name. We could call it literally anything. So I have to say, for example, rank as Jeff. Just give it some whatever name. That's also fine. It's just how you name your, your rank. So OP rank as Jeff. And then we say we want to sort the field total points by game week, so our, our value that we're using in this visualization, and we want to order it descending. Again, ascending, descending, we're saying descending. And then underneath, we simply say filter datum.rank, which I renamed to Jeff. So let's again do Jeff here. Less than or equal to one. So we've created our rank, we've given it a name, we've specified what we want to rank, and then from that rank, what do I want to return? Or what, what do I want to filter to? I want to filter the top one, just like a top N. I want to show me the top one. So if I now apply what I've just pasted in, perfect, really perfect. 
Now there's a really, this is actually so easy to do. You can just go to the Vega Lite documentation and copy in this transform rank and it will work flawlessly. It, it's really good. As you can see, it, it works exactly how I want it to work. Round nine was the highest scoring round for the total points per week. And that's what it's filtered down to. I'm gonna now change it from Jeff to rank. So it's a little bit clearer, maybe, I don't know. But that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. Very happy with that. So what's left to do now is actually not a great deal because once you know how to do it, what can you do? You can copy and paste it, which is what I'm gonna do now because I wanna create another text mark because if you do it in two different text marks, for me, just my opinion maybe, it just allows you to do a lot more with the formatting. So the size, the, the font weight, the color if you want. I'll probably leave the color just black for now, but you could do all these things. So I'm gonna take this that I just created, as I say, and I'm now I'm gonna paste it again. I will apply that change and you'll see no difference because we're just putting the exact text mark on top of the identical text mark. So to show what I'm talking about, I will then change a couple of things. I'll say my um, Y offset for this is going to be say 100 and I'm going to change the size from 60. Let's just say something like, I don't know, let's see how 30 looks, half the size and my font weight can be standard. And of course now my Y offset looks weird. So I'm gonna say minus 80, that looks a bit better. So now we have the two text marks. All that's left for me to do is specify what I want that text mark to be. Because obviously I've copied and pasted the transform ranking. So that's already applied to my second text mark. So now if I wanted to, I could do something really basic and just instead of writing field and then changing the field to what, what I want it to be, I can just write a value, for example, and I could just say value um, max points. There you go, 876 is the max points. I would like it to be a bit nicer than that, give a bit more information to the user. And it's a, a, a pretty straightforward thing to do, especially because we already have the transform. Now in the transform, underneath here, where we have our filter, I can just add something else. And I can say, I wanna calculate a specific text. So I say calculate, and then I can specify my text. So open it up like that, and then do one of those so we can have a hard-coded text. Let's just say, again, keep it basic for now. Let's say 876 points made round, so that's hard-coded. And now I want to add something that is more dynamic. So datum dot round and then and more harder coded text, the highest scoring round. Close that off, close that off and then give it a name and the name is going to be as let's just call that new text again, call it whatever you want. Done. So now we just need to reference that text within our mark. So instead of saying value max points, now I'm going to say field. And then I'm also going to say new text, which is what we just created couple of things. Of course, you need to ensure you're getting the formatting correct. So here, for example, I need to have a space. And also here, 876 points made round nine, the highest scoring round. We get a full stop there as well. Not bad, actually. So we have some dynamic text because it says round nine. 
Um, something that's quite interesting, I found on in the Vega documentation, but not in the Vega Lite documentation, that you can add line breaks, but it does work for Vega Lite as well. So if I say here, within my mark, and I want to say um, line break, I can specify what I want to use as a line break. So let's say I want a hyphen to indicate that I want a new line. So 876 points made round nine hyphen the highest scoring round. And that splits it over two lines, which is pretty cool, I think, because it makes it more condensed. We can also do a couple of things because it's maybe starting to look a little bit too big now. Let's just change the font size to size 20, perhaps. That's a bit nicer. So now we have something pretty decent. 876 points made round nine, the highest scoring round. So if we go back now and look at our filters, our slices, let's see what happens. 89 made round two, the highest scoring round. 79. I should have used the word points there perhaps. 79 points made round 13, the highest scoring round. But you can see what's happening. It's, you click on a team, it changes based on that team's data. And also we use this uh, round slicer as well, and it changes there. So it's working just how I created. I made it with a floor, but it's working nonetheless. What you can also do, what I chose to do, is also have um, a very basic um, DAX measure, which when I select on a particular team, will give me the abbreviated name of that team. So the measure that I'm using is this, this selected team. So if the team ID is filtered, give me the name or the abbreviated name of that team. If it's not, just give me the word all teams, or the two words all teams, I should say. That allows me to add another dynamic element into these dynamic details. So let's just try that now. And now I'm going to paste something in that I created earlier and see what happens. So 876 points scored by all teams made round nine. Now get rid of that comma and replace the comma with a hyphen. 876 points scored by all teams made round nine the highest scoring round. That's helpful information straight away, yeah? Again, we go back to what we had before. We choose a team, 83 points scored by Aston Villa made round 13 the highest scoring round. Slicer, 46 points scored by Aston Villa made round two. 51 by Evan, round six. So this is very, very helpful information or useful information, we should say, but it can be made of course, a lot more helpful depending on what you want to put in it. As ever with Vega Light and Deneb, it's about what you choose to put into it. You can change many elements. You could have, you know, the max and the min, if that's not too much. You can change the colors. You can change stuff based on expressions. Um, there's so much you can do with this and there's so much value you can add to your reports with this sort of text. Um, so yeah, I really hope you like this idea of these dynamic details. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna use them, uh, if you would've done anything differently, maybe. Um, yeah, like I say, I really enjoyed this one, so I hope you did too. Um, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, all those YouTube things. And uh, yeah, thanks very much and goodbye.